right now we are in Fort Pierce. We're doing a storage unit clean out. Well, I don't want to have Ashley being the only one moving boxes right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to help her get this banged out and then we got to shoot over to one more unit and clean that out for them. All right. Okay, so we packed up our first load. We have just a little bit of stuff to come back for. Um, landfill's really close by. And then when we come back, we have another unit to take care of. As you can see, we've packed it pretty decent. Got everything in there really tight. Just above the trail line a little bit, so... Oops, sorry about this. If my hand went in front of you. Um, right now, we probably have on 12 yards, something like that, 12, 12 and a half, if anything. Okay, well, we're going to put the door on, strap up, net down, and get to the landfill. All strapped down and ready to go. Whoop. Oh, that is so good. So that's now, good. what's the unit number? Oh, you're recording it. Anyway. Uh, Four. Check out and see what's going to be in here. I am steamy. Hmm. Wait, Nicole? No, I gotta go in there. Okay, so we're going to run to the landfill. And then we got to finish up that tiny little bit that we have in that unit and then take a look at this one. Okay. Uh, very cool. A lot of flat things here, like those boxes. That... Okay. Well, at least we can work on this and really start packing it in when we come back. Well, and we'll then, pop. Well, it would have been easy to move this with a pallet jack because this one's already wrapped. Anyway, well. Yeah, so is that one. I don't know. The I didn't know they bring it. Yeah, it's only one pallet. Anyway, so that is going to be. We're gonna run all this to the landfill, come back and finish this. All right. I don't know if they got it the last minute, but I know when they called us just the other day and wanted it done specifically today, they were very happy to know that we were able to fit them in on schedule. Anyway, well, we're off to the landfill. There we go. Okay, I got the view now. Ha! Ah, the new billboard. Name top 20. Best one. Oh, yeah. Okay, whatever. Hello, everybody. Good morning. Okay. Morning. 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 Okay. Um, got a call about uh, from J Dog. They needed some help from us because they're not in they're not locally in our area so they gave us a call to help them out with the uh, storage cleanouts. Small job about 20 maybe 24 yards about. Yeah so James is really good at the puzzle and I'm good at throwing things at him so. <laughs> yeah, she's good at throwing stuff at me that's for sure. <laughs> anyway but uh, this is our first load we're gonna go back and finish it, but we're almost at the top of the hill. And a 
If you've been noticing, this hill's been getting bigger and bigger to the right side. We're going to go up a couple more levels. Yeah, just a few more levels and then they're done. Alright, so videotape a little bit and then we'll have to get one or two still shots just to show that the load has been dumped legally at the landfill, you know, since we're... Yeah. We gotta document everything for the national companies. You mean document everything. You didn't document it, didn't happen. That's right. I hate it when they do this recycle. I'm gonna go right next to the floor. boat. Okay. Dude, how did you jump out? Let me jump out. Oh, he's giving me the boot, is what he's doing. Get out! Okay. Well, this is a nice breeze up here. We can't have the trucks coming down. Protect. Help. Document everything. Okay. We securely strapped all this down. Now we're going to be unloading it. So I got to take a couple still shots for J Dog. So this way it shows that we did this. Okay, that is the final load. Well, the last the first load. Oh, sorry, it's loud. We'll probably snatch a bite to eat real quick and then we'll shoot over and grab the other half of this. All right, see you in a bit. Uh, <laughs> I got a bug bite right there. Uh, uh, I got you picking your butt. I'm not picking my butt, I got a bug bite right there. Oh, thank <laughs> All right, so we are here to get Sorry, I had to pick that up one hand. Want to open that? Okay, so this is it. Okay, I'm gonna start finish out this one right now. Let me take a still shot for records. I'm going to shut this off. Well, it's almost it. Getting ready to sweep in a minute. So this is pretty much this is a storage facility. I like, must have been, um, there's a lot of tobacco stuff, so I'm figuring it was like, Convenience stores, chain of convenience stores, I believe it was, or something like that. Anyway, well, like I said, we're about to sweep up this one and then get over to the other unit and clean that one out. In the meantime, I. Not logging up, not logging up. Not, not in the bag. She's yelling at me, always yelling at me. That is the last of this part of the load for here. As you can see, unit number 105 has been swept out very well. Okay, now I'm going to throw the back on here, close these up. Start heading over to the other unit. All right. Well, and the fun begins. Okay, so that is the netted second load. <laughs> Well, off to the landfill again. We got another little house to clean out. 
I don't know if you can hear him or not. He says, but we got to finish up this job. This is the second load. We got another load that we have to do. So it's a to total of 28 yards. Uh, we have another house clean out we got to get to later on this evening. So we've got to hustle and get this job done. Just done and over with. The sooner we get this done, the sooner we can move on to the next job. Yeah. Don't use gloves. Got no grip. Unless it's the rubber ones. But all this is um, like displays and cartridges and uh, shelving systems for a tobacco company. So I had to get it out. I had to get one unit out today and the other one is soon followed, so. We're blessed today. Today is, is bright and sunny, but it's also um, nice and windy. So you don't feel the heat as much on your face. Hell he, he says. Hell he. I don't know about all that. I mean, it, it can get steamy, especially in a day where rain's coming. He unloads pretty quickly, that's for sure. Believe it or not, he actually enjoys doing this because oh, okay. he enjoys doing this because it's it's keeps him going. If he gets too long of a break, he'll get lazy, and we don't want that. It was a little busy and now it's calmed down, so should I stay away from the blast zone? Good grief, that was just right there. It's like four feet from me. Whee! He's like a bolo. He's, he's his own bolo. <laughs> quite a bit in that trailer. Oh, um, fun fact, if there is a lot of people at the landfill, no, try, no, try to give each other room because earlier today we had to deal with quite a few people that were a little too close to the truck and trailer. Boy, Not, good. People. Not good. Not good. Try to keep your distance from other people because if you scratch their truck or their trailer, guess who's paying for it? <laughs> I'm sure most of you already know that, but some people who are either inexperienced or doesn't have all their marbles in your brain, um, or it just sounds like a rattler. Keep your distance. <laughs> He's 
Dad's gonna get mad. Yeah, I was just saying that. That was a good workout for you. I'm looking on the ground and I'm going, well, what's this? What's that? <laughs> a couple of the workers at the landfill, sometimes they get lucky finding neat things. Some find cash, some find jewelry. It really is amazing. The job that we're going to later on tonight is um, it wasn't it wasn't necessarily a last minute thing. It was they thought that Goodwill, Salvation Army, Habitat, you know, places like that, were going to take all the furniture. And in some cases, that's not always the case because they're becoming well, well, where we are, if I can speak, they're becoming more and more picky. So um, let me turn this around can actually see me. So, if you can actually also hear me. So places, places that do donations or that you can donate, they'll come by, they'll pick up your furniture or whatnot, they're getting more and more picky. He's doing this on purpose. I'm telling you, he's doing this on purpose. So this was this was a situation where the family goes, oh no, we thought that they were going to take all of it. They didn't. So they had to call up to help them get rid of it so they can close on the house because the new buyers are coming to the house tomorrow. So that's the thing. You got to be, you got to be Johnny on the spot sometimes. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad, but either way, it good for business, that's for sure. Okay. Boy, I'm loving this wind. I'm loving it. Love it! Mm -hmm. This. Let's do this. Who needs Planet Fitness? I got Planet Trash. Planet, tr planet Trash. some pictures. Picture time. Right. Okay, I'm really sweaty. So right now we are up on about the third full trailer. So um, I figured, I think before I was thinking 28 yards, it's probably going to be 32 when it's done, but you know, whatever. It happens. Um, what? <laughs> so this is where we're at. We are trying to hurry up and get this third load out of here and then uh, sweep this up because we still have to get over and do a whole house clean out. <laughs> Woo! It's a long day. So, uh, this but will be three. Yeah, so by the time we're done, we'll, the day will be done four full loads. Um, I don't know if we'll add anything else after that. You know, we, we work for seven. It's an 11 hour day, so we like to get in as much as we can. No wasting the day. Oops, I almost dropped the phone. Okay. I'm getting the boot. He says, get out. All right. This is the last load of this job. I gotta get out of his way. This is a clear path. Okay, he tells me. Keep going. I'm just gonna stand by this mountain over here. Okay. This is load three, final load from the uh, storage cleanouts. Uh, James took a few still shots for, before we left. We didn't have time to record a video because uh, the client had to we'll get other things taken care of. But anyway, so uh, he's a bit of a, that guy's a bit of a scavenger. <laughs> 
Anyway, this is the final load. Um, again, a bunch of plastic and boxes and what have you. We're asking about, exactly about how did we open up the business? How did we start it? That is one big pile of garbage. <laughs> well, they really cram those garbage tank things. Okay. This won't take him too long. I also have to take some still shots. Well, he better hurry up too, because that rain looks like it's coming this way with the wind. Cover the mic. They were keeping the stores and wound up not heating. Some of the guys here get excited when we come here because, or not excited, but they start looking because a lot of times, you know, they go they go rummaging through the garbage like, whoa, what'd you get this time? <laughs> it's tough, it, you know, sometimes it's steady work and other times it's not. I'm gonna stop this video because one, one of the garbage guys is talking to him, which slows him down. Two, I gotta hurry up because it rain from a couple different areas. All right, guys. Okay. <laughs> JJ's having fun. Okay, so that is the last of the load. Well, that's it. Three loads. We're done. Sorry, it's so loud. Okay, three loads of that clean out. Now we're headed off to go do a house clean out. <laughs> Whoa. Just gonna say, we didn't do that. That was a garbage bin that just came through here a little while ago. Um, we we didn't pick up any small things, but we cleaned it up real quick so we don't actually get a flat. Plus, it's just the right thing to do. Anyway, well, let me spin this around. Hopefully, I got that scented. We just got one piece of furniture on so far. And then um, we staged everything. We brought everything outside so far except for one couch. But this is... Just the pieces that we're removing right now and that one mirror so we brought everything outside of the house uh, now we got a couch bed to bring out got my strap we strapped the bed tight so this way if it decides to spring open while going through the doorway we don't have that issue that only has to happen to you once yeah that only has to happen to you one time have a couch spring itself open while going through a doorway and you figure out how to never to have that happen again <laughs> Anyway, well, now that we have everything outside, we're going to start to load it up and get out of here. And this is the fourth load of the day. Right now, it's probably close to 4.30, 5 o'clock. What time is it? Close to 5? Uh, so we actually worked another two hours, but the landfill's closed. We're not going to be able to get rid of this. So that's it. Anyway. Okay, fourth load loaded. Boy, he's gonna sleep good tonight. Yes. Feed him well. He's gonna take a shower. Eat a big meal, take a long shower. I, I will sleep well tonight, that's for sure. <laughs> I love this.
It seemed like a full night's like six hours. <laughs> That's a full night's rest. Full night. yeah. To me, a full night's like nine. <laughs> You know, I have to say, they don't make furniture now the way they used to. I mean, the quality, and it, yeah, it's dated, but just sometimes the quality of it, the, the frame of the couch, or the all wood furniture pieces. They... Oh, I can't believe that I made it through the day and I only changed my shirt one time. I need to drain this shirt out. I don't know if he can fit. That's what I'm saying. Why do some people need to have a Cadillac if you can't drive it? That's good. Yeah, poor man's been sweating all day. Working hard all day. I worked hard too, but... He's running circles around me.